Tesla declared earlier this year that its investor day will take place at its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas in March. The purpose of this event was to provide attendees an interesting look into Tesla's long-term plans and provide updates on the company's development after investor day. Gary Black, CEO of Future Funds and a Tesla investor, has grown even more optimistic about the automaker for a number of reasons. Hi everyone, and happy return to Tesla for tomorrow. Although there were a number of announcements made during the event after Musk's announcement of the company's investor day in January, some Tesla analysts feel that the company has fallen short of delivering on the majority of the projects that they had high expectations for. However, CEO of Future Funds Gary Black believes that Tesla has focused on the important aspects, and as a result, he believes the automaker will reach even greater heights in the coming years. Let's find out. But first, Gary Black stated, Please hit the like button if you enjoy this kind of content. For the most recent information on everything happening with Tesla during the Investor Day event, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. Elon Musk made a comment about sustainable energy and stressed the importance of efficiency in cost cutting, but he made no mention of new products or services. Musk declared that the business will be constructing a next-generation car at its Gigafactory in Mexico. There have been earlier rumors that Tesla was considering building a sixth Gigafactory in Mexico. According to reports, Musk visited three Mexican states in December. During the gathering, Musk revealed that the plant will be constructed in Nuevo Leon, a Mexican state that borders Texas to the south and is home to Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin. Musk added, though he didn't go into great detail, that a next-generation car will be produced at the new plant. Elon Musk also disclosed the third phase of Tesla's strategic strategy, which calls for the business to spearhead international efforts to phase out fossil fuels and transition to sustainable energy sources. Tesla has already revealed two more grand plans. The first, which came out in 2006, laid out a broad plan to build an electric sports car of luxury first, followed by increasingly more reasonably priced electric car types. The second, which debuted in 2016, set forth objectives for Tesla to broaden its lineup of electric cars to include every important area of transportation, including a pickup truck and densely populated areas. Transportation, however, the new strategy calls for increasing the production of electric vehicles and integrating renewable energy sources into the current system. According to Musk's idea, $10 trillion in investments are needed to create a sustainable future powered by renewable energy although this amount is small in comparison to the size of the world economy. This vision also includes testing the idea that it is possible to achieve without mining a sizable amount of ore by adding up to 240 terawatt hours to the world's energy storage capacity. Elon Musk claims that it would only require less than 30% of the Earth's total nickel and iron reserves. Musk also mentioned that the infrastructure required, which will house the next generation of vehicles, will use solar and wind energy and occupy less than 0.2% of the planet's surface. Tesla only showed two covered cars during the presentation, giving away very little information other than a suggestion that it will be using a whole different platform for its upcoming generation of cars. Building in a way that depends on automation to expand more quickly and affordably is a major component of that design. Additionally, Tesla formally unveiled an improvement to its charging stations that allows non-Tesla vehicles to use them. Nevertheless, despite optimistic analyst sentiment, Tesla's shares fell by about 6% after its investor day. It's possible that Tesla neglected to address relevant issues during the event, particularly in light of the fact that it withheld information about the highly anticipated next-generation vehicle, even though this might just be a coincidence. According to American businessman Mark Fields, several observers think that if Tesla is able to obtain this, it may be a game-changer for the company. The best and most captivating electric cars in the world are already being mass-produced by Tesla. According to the former CEO of Ford, Tesla is a real manufacturing company that excels at software and battery-related industries, where these other companies are specialists. With its focus on how things will be done, rather than what needs to be done, Tesla is far ahead of the competition. With a multi-year goal of growing deliveries by 50% annually, Tesla is concentrating on increasing its manufacturing capacity which would help it become the largest corporation in the world by 2030. At the end of the third quarter of last year, the manufacturer announced an installed annual vehicle production capacity of 1.9 million, a significant increase over the capacity of slightly over 1 million vehicles during the same period the previous year. Tesla is headed in the right route to capitalize on this burgeoning industry, as evidenced by its rapid capacity growth 
and the possibility of roughly 27 million units being shipped annually globally in the light EV market, up from 6.3 million in 2021. The automaker also intends to bring other products like the Roadster and RoboTaxi online over a million cars annually by 2030. This means that in a few years, the combined output of these two locations could surpass Tesla's current global production capacities from four factories. Experts estimate that by 2027, at least 80% of newly manufactured and acquired automobiles will be electric, increasing demand for Tesla's planned vehicle production. It's no secret that the market for ICE cars is slowly contracting, and in a few years, the cost of an ICE car could rise relative to the cost of refilling a car to recharging one. In addition, they will be costly to maintain and contribute to environmental contamination. Undoubtedly, disruptive technology is gaining traction, which is why Tesla will keep winning. According to Ross Gerber, certain analysts and investors, such as Scotty Kilmer and Bill Miller, think that the projected future of EVS is just a pipe dream. On the other hand, Steve Wesley and Ross Gerber have relatively high hopes regarding EV demand in the future. Tesla has been able to construct factories more effectively all around the world by reducing the footprint required to manufacture its cells from what it was during the automaker's battery day. He added that the success of alternative energy, EVs, and transportation all depend on battery production, making the 4680 one of the most significant technological advancements in modern history. If Tesla can meet this goal, it could propel the automaker to new heights. In a similar vein, Bounder and Steve Wesley, managing partner of the Wesley Group, noted that Tesla is significantly ahead of competitors in over-the-air software and next-generation robotization manufacturing, giving the company a competitive advantage that allows it to outperform competitors in terms of manufacturing. The automaker has implemented automation at its factory in China and plans to do the same in its other factories. If Tesla succeeds in doing this, its manufacturing rate would reach a record high internationally, ensuring that there are enough EVS to meet the increasing demand. With several other Tesla products like the RoboTaxi and Cybertruck that will soon hit the market, it will take some time before any of these companies can catch up with Tesla. Not everyone can replicate what Tesla is doing with its cars, and even if they can, they will be charging a whole lot more for these services. Regarding the results of Tesla's Investor Day, what are your thoughts? If you're interested in learning what Tesla has been up to these last few days, please let us know in the comments area. Click on the following video that appears on your screen. Talk to you there.